you still doing here this time of night? On the chair? Your Highness, what woman in my condition will sleep soundly? Of course I am not feeling well, Your Highness. I am made ill by my misfortune. Look, Mom, listen to me. We are Christians, right? I've told you before, stop bothering over this for God's sake. Look, listen to me. This is in the hand of God. If he says you're going to have children, you will have children. If he says you will not, then you will not. What are you bothering yourself for? Your Highness, I am 45 years old. My menstrual circle is becoming irregular. I am approaching menopause for God's sake. Your Highness, the possibility of my getting pregnant is almost nil. Look, Rose, we are Christians. And I believe every word of the Bible. What I do not see in the Bible, I do not accept. I have never seen the word menopause in the Bible. Therefore, I do not accept it. You are telling me that you are 45. What about Sarah? What about Sarah? At what age is she have her own child? Oh, come on. Come on, honey. We have to do something very quickly, Your Highness. We must do something really fast. All right, Rose. Since you say so, what are we going to do? Your Highness. Yes. I want you to take a second wife. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean take a second wife? What? Have I ever told you I'm tired of you? Have I ever told you that? No, I will not take a second wife. No, I still love you. I will not take a second wife. promising you, I will think seriously about what you just told me. But look, you will attend by your father. You will do that. Will you do that? Hmm? Good. Good, good. It's all right. Come on, go to bed. Go and sleep. I want you to see it as an interference in your family affairs. But Igwe, 20 years of marriage with her heir is causing us much concern. Igwe, we plead with you, please, to consider taking a second wife. And let's see. If God will bless us with an heir through her.
Igwe. We would not like to see what happened at Omoako, where the Igwe joined his ancestors without leaving an heir to the throne to happen to us here. Igwe. Muru Muru. Omaka Mamuleni. Please, in the name of our ancestors, please consider our request. I thank all of you for your concern. I have heard you. another wife and give them a prince and a princess. I think you misconstrue the entire situation and as a direct consequence you are given a very serious interpretation to a rather innocent advice. This marriage is mine. The fate of this marriage is mine and I take full responsibility and nobody, repeat, nobody can influence that. No. Then, Your Highness, prepare for a royal scandal because I'm going to divorce you. I am tired. I am fed up of being seen as an obstacle to the royal dynasty your people want. No, you will not do that. You will not divorce me because you've always loved me with all your heart, all these years. You will not divorce me because I have never considered you an obstacle to the dynasty, as you allege. No, you will not divorce me. It's time for us to remove the facade. It's time for us to face facts. Royalty is forever lost without an heir. Rose, I have always loved you and I love you still. I even shudder at the thought of ever having to split my love between you and somebody else. No, I, I think you'll stick it out with me. My lord, yes. I should be complaining, not you. <sighs> All right, since you insist, um, find me a woman who will merely be content with having my children in a luckless marriage. And I will not hesitate to marry her. Can you find me one? Yes, Your Highness. You sure you can? Yes, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. But please, promise me that you'll at least care for whoever I find. Now, 
get me some cold palm wine and some bush meat. Dry. Yes, your majesty. Good. Voiced out his likeness for her on several occasions. But her background, the daughter of poor parents who are dead. Anyway, after four years here as a royal cook, she should be used to royalty by now. She's a determined girl and loyal to a fault. I think I can trust her. Yes, I can trust her. She will do. <coughs> oh, good morning, Lolo. Good morning, Anita. How was your night? Fine, thank you, ma'am. You spoke about going to see your brother in school today. Yes, yes ma'am. Today is their visiting day. Really? Yes, I see. Okay, I think we'll do that together. <sighs> That's nice of you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh no, no problem. Nothing is too much for you, Anita. I mean, if all my staff were as dedicated as you are, I can sleep the whole 24 hours a day away, confident that my home is well taken care of. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. And Anita? Yes, ma'am. Igwe has approved a token for you, for your hard work. <sighs> Thank you very much, ma. Please tell him thank you for me. It's nothing, it's nothing. Let me go and get dressed. Please. You call me when you're ready. Heaping gifts of God knows how much. Honestly, I'm overwhelmed. Come on, Anita. Nothing is too much for you. You don't seem to understand how much Igwe and I care for you. Hmm? The fact that you're not a blood relative does not mean we will not care for your needs. Hmm? I want you to feel very comfortable in this house. Oh. God bless. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Okay, so you pack everything to your room. Yes. Thank you. Anita, I know that 
the change might be difficult for you to make. But it's not impossible. Anita, you know how much I care for you. I know. I know what. It's a very difficult decision for me to take. Besides, the age difference. I understand. I understand. The age difference will be quite embarrassing. But you see, there is no barrier to love. We're not talking about love here. You're asking me to come and produce children for Igwe. A contract of convenience, sort of. God forbid. God forbid that I should so dehumanize woman and world. Anita, you just say yes, and I will take care of all your fears. Like a mother to me. God. Sharing your husband. Anita. Anita, this boat is mine. I am inviting you into it. And I know you won't rock it. Please, Anita. Marry Igwe. Feel free. Marry Igwe for me. Please. I will make sure that you will never regret it. I will take care of you. Anita, everything will be perfect. Everything will be just as you want it. Help me. So you told me that the church was interested in the land. I told him point blank, that land belongs to the community. If the church is desirous of acquiring that land, then there must be a compensation to the community. I know my people. If I ask the church to take that land without paying something, then before long it will be rumored all over the community that the Igwe accepted money from the church and then ceded the community land to the church. I would not like such a scandal to be associated with my name, but not while I'm in office now. Exactly. Igwe. Mm. Mm. Cool. Yes, right. Anita is looking quite attractive in her new dress. <laughs> oh, she does? I'm happy you noticed. I couldn't help noticing that. <laughs> Your Highness. Yes. She is the chosen one. All you have to do is be a good husband to her. Please. Now listen to me, Rose. If I must take a second wife, certainly not from my kitchen, for God's sake. Oh. <laughs> There's no dignity in that. Please, Your Highness. No matter how much you contrive it. Please, Your Highness. Yeah. 
It is our custom to sound the echo whenever we want to mark an event. Whenever the echo sounds, it's either for good or for bad. Today, the echo will sound for good. <laughs> Sit down properly. All the while I've been sitting on edge, sweating to death with worries. Oh, let me stay relaxed. Oh. Igwe, whenever the Ikuru sounds, real men incline their ears to discern the message. The men are listening. They will not listen out for too long. Because I have a message for their ears. Today, the lion of Umuaba intends to add a lioness to the jungle. Hey. <laughs> Bring the new lioness. and see you, sweeping and packing refuse. But I'm not a queen yet. And if you stop me from doing anything at all, you will bore me to death. 
when the marriage rites are concluded, you'll be too busy doing other things. Believe me. I know. Anyway, I've employed a replacement for you. No, I hope not in the kitchen too. Unless you will break me down completely. <laughs> Oh, I'll take care of everything. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, hail her royal majesty, the latest queen of the Lion of Umoba. You are welcome, my dear. You are welcome. Sit down. <laughs> Lolo, you're making me shy. If you continue to heal me like this, I will hide under my bed. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Igwe! Uh, Rose, show her to her room. If there's anything you think you require to make her more comfortable, just let me know. Thank you, Your Royal Highness. Thank you. Thank you for this. It means there will be no more conspiracies against me not having an heir. There will be no more nocturnal meetings against me. So now I have an heir. <laughs> now I have an heir! You know, the moment he comes out, I believe that's him for him. I will give it to him. Let him just stay there and sleep there. He will. Oh. It seems he wants to start rolling in my womb. He keeps each time the throne is mentioned. Mm. I father like son. <laughs> I was told that I always kick. I don't know whether it was whenever the throne was mentioned or whenever I wanted them to mention the throne. Mm -hmm. I told I was always kicking. <laughs> mm. This is good. All this. Mm. Mm, you know, from the moment this girl was born, and I noticed that birthmark, I knew she was destined to bring back your mark into this family. <laughs> Just look at this. It's not here, I have it. I have mine too. Where is it? Yeah. Well, Take her to bed so that both of you can go and sleep the sleep of those wild death marks. Lala, now they have been. Hey, this is. This is. I would have asked you to take some 
but it's so hard, don't worry. <laughs> Deserves another, you know. Are you are you crazy? This is against the ethics of my profession. She's my client. For God's sake, I can't do it. Oh, I see. Then Charles, get ready for the hangman's noose. If in the next one hour you do not call to tell me that you're going to do the job, I'll be forced to go straight to the police, and I'm going to tell them a lot of things that you seem to have forgotten, Charles. Just try and remember. Have a nice day.
No. You okay? after you must have given it to her, okay? How do I do this without wasting suspicion? It's up to you. After all, you're a professional. Listen, if I have my way, you devil, I will strangle you to death with my bare hands. Really? Yes. But well, you have to kill the child first. Come in. There is an emergency. Igwe or Kabo's wife is in premature labor. Oh, take her to the labor room. I'll be there immediately. Okay. Yes.
Ago. They said they found her crying on the street. you just um, stay with her tonight and then tomorrow we'll report to the police. 
It's already lit. I said, Your Highness, I wonder why Dr. Charles would want to do such a wicked thing. Though we'll get to know later. No not from him anymore. How do you mean? The police called us that they found a decomposing body of Dr. Charles and the woman along the express road. What? Baby in I only pity the woman that perished with him. Well, I thank God that my wife and child is safe. Thanks for all the attention. Thank you very much. Thank God. Your Highness, she will need more care this time. It's alright. I can arrange for all that when we get home. It's alright. Let me help you with your back. Thank you very much. Just 
how much that idiot's life depends on you. Yeah, he is my life. I would love to see that idiot and your mother cry over your dead body today. Please. Say. They refused to take her. They said we should find somebody on our own to adopt her or keep her. All my pleading fell on deaf ears. Well, I have seen the bishop and he's of the opinion that we should keep her. My problem now is if we decide to send a girl to school. Whose name is she going to bear? But father, why don't we simply hand this girl over to the police and save ourselves this stress? No. I have this feeling that God is testing our faith with this little girl. Let me keep her. I will take the burden. Katkiz, I think sister is right. Yes. Sister, you can keep her. I will support you in my own ways. And then we'll get the church involved too. Yes, Father. Meanwhile, let me run along. I have an evening mass at St. Anthony's. Okay. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye, sister. Tell her about it. 
You guys can come later in the evening to my house, okay? That's better. Yeah. Let me take one of the things. Okay. This is her final term in the secondary school. That girl's future worries me, Steve. I have told you to stop worrying about her. To me, she seemed to be acting out the script written by a divine author. Let's just watch everything unfold, Father. That girl has refused six family from adopting her. Even before she's old enough to know what adoption is. She's also refused to become a reverend sister. And she has said it over and over that she would prefer death to living with any other people other than her biological parents. Now, let's think about this. What if someone comes to marry that girl tomorrow? Who is going to stand in as her parents? Have you asked her that? Yes. And she simply said that God is her father and the church her mother. I still have this feeling that God wants to teach some people a lesson with the life of that child. I think so too. Well, I just pray that the will of God be done in her life. Amen. Let me get you something to eat, Father. I would not really mind that. I'm famished. All right. something I want us to talk about. You keep saying this over and over again. Why don't you just say it once and for all? Um, it's, it's just that, I mean... Jones, it, just say it and let me go. Sister will be waiting for me. Um, because for three years now, I've been living with this dream, this desire. And I just wish... What? I like you. And I want you to be my 
girlfriend. But we're friends. We're close friends. I know you like me. But I want you to like me in a personal sense of it. Something more intimate. Because do you like me? I like you as a Christian. As a Christian. Uh, but I want you to like me in the personal sense of it. Because you don't know how many times I die each day hoping and wishing that you'll be mine for the rest of my life. And I don't wish for anything less. No. Jones, my upbringing and... Because the, your upbringing should make you a teacher. I mean, a preacher and a defender of true love. Like the one I have for you. Because the Christianity and love are the same thing. Because if you doubt my sincerity, I will swear... No, 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 no. Don't swear. Okay, I'll think about it. But let me go. Sister will be waiting for me. Bye-bye. Uh. Eh? Let's go into the house. Let me introduce you to sister as my schoolmate. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, I don't want to see the sister now. Why? That should wait for some other time. Thank you. I've got some good news for you. Hey, come on, come on, come on. I've been offered admission into Oxford University. And I'm leaving for you, K, next week. <laughs> Just that those those years you stayed there, I don't think can I survive it. Inji, you just have to. Hmm? This one you're sounding like this now. Promise me you wait for me. Hmm? Please now. And you don't have to hurry off to the house now. Hmm? Promise me now. sounding like like you want me to go now for goodness sake this is our last evening before i i, I leave eh? and your mood is just turning the whole thing into an evening of tears i'm sorry you know jones you know love plays different tunes at different times sometimes happy Sometimes sad. I'm only dancing to the sad tune of separation is playing for me now. I'm sorry if I'm making you sad. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? I want to promise you one thing. I'll come back to you true and still in love. Okay? Take this. Take this. Hmm? Wear this for me, okay? Let it keep the memories alive till I come back. Okay. 
Okay. I'll wait for you. And promise me you'll never leave me. No, no, I will never leave you. Don't even think about that, okay? Come here. Please don't cry anymore. I'll miss you. I miss you too.
be now. We organize this party. We'll have to tell us something. The French.
saying about my plea to you? Chen, I thought we've forgotten about this issue. I told you it can't work. Rosica, what can't work? What can't work? For three years you've been dribbling me. You've been speaking from both sides of your mouth. If you're not telling me you're, you're in love with a, a guy in England, you're telling me something else. Now you're, you just told me another cock and bull story. What do you want me to believe? See, I've never lied to you. It's just that I can't explain it. This, this... I can't, I can't really explain you it. You can't what? You can't what? See, I love you quite alright, but I can't explain it. I love you like a brother. See, even when you touch me, I don't feel anything. I, I can't explain it. God. I'm so confused. I don't know. I can never love another woman as much as I have loved you. Can't you see? Who told you that? We've not even tried. Honestly, I don't think I can love any one of them. say that I know there are girls that love you and who you'd love in return. I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you wrong when I come to see you tomorrow. You will? Yes. Anyway, I have a one o'clock lecture. Do you mind dropping me off? Well, if it pleases you, you get into the car. touches to my valedictory lecture. You know it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. Uh, better late than never, they say. Yes. Chica, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay. What do I offer you, ladies? Well, I don't want anything. Maybe Chica needs something. Because I, I need to go for a group discussion to attend to. Um, Chica, don't go anywhere, all right? Yeah. Stay here till I come back so we can go together. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Really? Yes, yeah. Take care of yourself. Maybe you have to leave just like that. Yes, I'll soon be back though. Bye. Take care. All right. Well, Chica, that leaves you and I. Yeah. So how are you? How are you finding school? Fine, thank you. I see you will be very dazzling. Uh, uh, yeah, let me get you something, okay? Sorry, I didn't tell you I was coming back to the country. I just wanted to surprise you, you know. Bad boy! It's not fair! But I'm here now. I'm here. Boredom. Boredom almost killed me, but I'm fine now. I don't need to ask you how you're doing because you really look cool. Are you back now? Yes. Are you back finally? Yes. You're back finally? Yes. Back to the love of my life. <laughs> and now, I can see the sister. And the Reverend Father. Ah, they're not around. 
Uh, okay, that's not a problem now. I'll still see them. <laughs> Let me get another seat for you. Let okay. me get. <laughs> no! at the same time in England. No, I wasn't. My father bought the place for me to prepare me to take over his business concerns. I hope you like it. I love it. It's really nice. But don't you think you're too young for the kind of responsibility they're placing on you? <laughs> no, now. You know I'm the only son of the family and my father's health is not really improving. I just have to cope. And I'm also counting on your support. You have it, my dear. All right. Um, let me show you around. <laughs> And now I think there's no other place more suitable to tell you what I want to tell you. Darling, you're getting me all bubbled up with the desire to know what it is, even before you say it. Ah, close your eyes. I should. Yeah, close your eyes. Okay. has finally come. The moment of truth. How would he respect me if he finds out I was picked on the street without a family trace? No. No, I can't do it. Jones, I... <clears throat> Jones, I, I'm confused. Why don't you give me some time to sort myself out? But, hold on. You still need more time. Is it that you don't, is, is it that you doubt my sincerity or something? No. Or, or you don't love me anymore? Of course I love you and I trust you. Just, please give me some time. I need some time. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait as long as my waiting will make you happy. Thank you very much. Smile now. Smile. <laughs> Come here. Thank you. You never change. <laughs> eating you up. What is it that you cannot confide in me or sister? An old friend of mine is asking for my hand in marriage. Isn't that supposed to be a good Yes, father. But who are my parents? What man will respect me if he finds out I'm an orphan? Just an orphan of circumstance. Any man will if he truly loves you. But I only wish some of them would stand down and just adopt me. 
but who will adopt a full grown up like me? Who? That is my fear too. But all the same, we'll pray over it. Okay? Um, honey, you said you're traveling back to Makodi tomorrow to complete your NYC program, right? <coughs> so, where are we? We're here now, we're in your house. You know that's not what I mean now. What about my proposal? Can you do me a favor, Jones? And what would that be? My program ends in six months. Why don't you give me till then to sort things out? I promise you, you and I will be very happy. Mm, honey, you know six months is too long a time. I know. Please. Please. Okay. For the love I have for you, I'll wait. Thank you for your understanding. Eat your food and stop moping at me. Okay. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> See, Chica. I gave him till six months and it will soon elapse. I'm so confused. Can't you just be good and let him know? I think he will understand. Chica, can't you help me? Can't you talk to your people to see if they can adopt me, even if it's temporary? You know my father died when I was an infant. And we both went to bury my mother two years ago. Ngozika, my only brother just got married. And I don't really think him and his wife will be favorably disposed to adopting a girl of your age. I understand. But God, why? Why do I have to go through all this? You said you'd make a way for me when there is no way. Now is the time I need the way. Ngozika, please. Don't worry about it. Do you know what? Mm. Let's talk to Uchenna about it. I think he can help you. Yes. You know he loves you. Yes, let's go to him tomorrow. I don't want anything. But you know, please sit down. Sit down, please. But you know, darling, Ngozika is in a dilemma. Please, we need your help. Please. Ngo, what is it? You look so ruffled. But you know, you are my last hope. I, I, I think... Come on, say it, say it. What is it? Okay. You remember that guy I told you about? Jones. Okay, Jones, yeah, yeah. What about him? He came back and he has asked for my hand in marriage. Really? It's something you should be happy about. But I'm not. Why? Why? 
Uchi, I don't know my parents. What? That is why I came to you. So that you can beg your parents to see if they can adopt me. So I can have someone to stand in for me on my wedding. Someone to give me away. Please. Oh, this is a very pathetic situation. I know how you feel, okay? I'll see what I can do about it. Yes, I'll, I'll meet my father. And I'm sure you'll help us out. Thank you very much. Nothing to worry about, okay? Thank you. All right, so cheer up, cheer up. Let me get you something now. Okay, try. <laughs> okay, one minute. Father, thank you very much. Thank you. Father, can I bring her home now? Um, well, that will depend on the outcome of my meeting with the council tonight. As you know, in my position, there are decisions I cannot take unilaterally. I must take in consultation. So, um, depends on what happens tonight. Father, please, do everything you can to convince them. She is such a nice girl. Father, you will like her at first sight. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's see what happens tonight. Hmm? Thank you, Father. Uh, Thank you uh, very much. Good. Oh, I forgot to ask you. What about school? School is okay. I'm doing fine. I uh, hear you now have a new vice chancellor. How is he getting on? He's doing fine, Father, but... He hasn't been there long enough for us, for us to assess him. Uh, but he has started well by fighting cultists on campus. That is good. That is good. <laughs> what tomorrow will be, you don't know. What it will bring forth. What God says will be, that will be. And whatsoever he says must come to pass. My country home. Yo. My father's palace. Feel very free, okay? You are in a friendly territory, okay? Come on. through with your service, we would have completed the entire legal process of adoption and compensated the church adequately for bringing you up. Hmm? Uh, by the way, um, what about the Reverend Sister and Reverend Father you grew up in, in their company? The Reverend Father is on a sabbatical leave abroad. About the Reverend Sister. May her soul rest in peace. What? You mean she's dead? Yes. Oh. God rest her soul. Amen. Amen. It's all right. Um, Mother, your status has changed. You are now a princess. No more the ordinary girl you always be. You now belong to this household, so you must learn to comport yourself accordingly like a princess. Hmm? Good. Uchenna. Yes, Father. You're a prince. She's your sister, she's a princess. You must address her accordingly. Hmm? 
was good. I guess you have. Yes, she is. She is. <sighs> Your Highness, to think that finally I will have somebody to call me mother. God, I thank you. Well, as I've always said, God's time. There's something about her that reminds me of my late daughter. If she were to be alive. They would have been the same age. They share the same name. Anita, please, not again. Can you spare us all the pain? I'm only happy for Lolo. At least she's now a proud mother to a pretty lady. The first degree holder. <laughs> <laughs> the girls rappers, are we with you? Yes. Please be ready so I know I'm done with those ones. Yes. Then, sure. um, what do you think? I, the things I bought for them, I don't think they're enough. What do you think? Um, I think they will be enough. Yeah. What about the Hennekens? Everything. Okay, that's good. That's oh good. God, Chica baby, I am very happy. I feel as if I'm dreaming. My dear, I'm so happy for you. Sometimes I wish I were you. How can you wish you were me? Please don't wish that. Oh. Even with the treatment I get here, I still... I still wish I could just find my biological parents one day. Even if they're mad people, let me find, let me see them, let me know them. Nico, why don't you try and be positive in this? Eh? Okay. Uh -huh, that reminds me. You said your father insisted you dress like a typical Igbo maiden. Yes, so in Apo is a rapper. Ah, that's good. I wonder how I'm going to look in that. Please, let's continue with the list. Okay, okay. Why don't we try it on now and see how comfortable it will be in you? Or do you not even think, think so? of that? Ah, let's go and try it on now. Please, thank you. And uh, meanwhile, okay, come with the list. So we're going. Okay. That's a very good idea. We'll check my stuff. Oh, baby, you look so marvelous in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that when John sees you, you don't whisk it with his bedroom before the end of your kitchen. Are you so happy? Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby, no. this is beautiful. Uh, thank you. Go get the beads. Let's see how it's going to be. Go to the What is this mark on your back? It's my natural tattoo, my birth mark. Thank you for today. 
that I'm alive to see my daughter who was long lost. But I could I have been living under the same roof with my own daughter without even knowing that she's my daughter. my sick. Everything happens in harmony for the good of the righteous. To see this day is enough punishment. 
Let us thank God I am back. Let us thank God I'm alive and reunited with my real family. Please forgive her for my sake. Please.